Hey everybody, and welcome to Avid Max Tying Tuesdays. Today we're gonna to show you how to tie the foam beetle. It's tied on a pretty awesome hook. This is the TMC113BLH hook. The thread we're using is the Uni ADOT black color. Then we're gonna have an underbody on this fly is the Strong Peacock Curl with the overbody, the backing as the two millimeter foam. We're gonna do the black followed by the white for a little bit of a cider. And then the centipede legs from MFC These are the speckled brown in the size medium. Okay, so we have our hook set in our vise. This is that TMCO 113BLH. Uh, so it's a barbless hook. It's a nice uh, open gap hook and it has the, it's, a little, it's 1X heavy. So typically on a dry fly, you wouldn't be looking for a 1X heavy. If you watched the Griffith Snat video that we did, we used a similar hook to this. It's the 103BL which is a light wire hook. When I'm doing a foam, foam dry fly, I'm not as concerned with, with the weight of the hook, and so we'll do a little bit heavier. That's why I'm using this, this particular hook today. But same thing we usually do, we're just gonna start our thread here, and then go and, and get our first material tied in. Today that's gonna be the two millimeter foam, the black color, and I'm just going to wrap this down on the hook shank and secure it in. So you can do a few wraps and just kind of start to add pressure as you go. Just getting this secured to the hook shank that gives you a nice base to work on here uh, to your body for your fly underneath. And it also adds just a lot of buoyancy to this fly as well. So we'll work it back kind of where we want it, just to the hook bend. About like so, go a little bit further here. When I'm working with foam, I'll tie it back and then I'll kind of pull it forward and just see how it's going to lay down. So this one I want to go a little bit more on, if I can there, that's about right there. For this fly, I'm going to use a couple of strands of peacock curl and pull them off there, find a couple of nice fluorescing fibers, trim out our butt sections as well as the tips off just to prepare to tie them in like so. And then I'll tie them in with the tips and wrap them down onto the, on top of that foam there. Just secure it in. And then we're gonna use that and it will be our underbody here. So we'll half hitch off and prepare to bring that forward. To do so, I'm gonna take both of those strands and I'm gonna just twist them together, creating a nice little rope. Make sure that they're gonna flare out nicely as we tie them down. You could also use some gator grips or a pair of hackle pliers. I'm gonna use my stone foe ones here just to grab them and then you can spin them real nicely there. Don't overspin them, they will break on you. So then we're gonna wrap that forward after we got it spun nicely, just keeping nice tension on it. All the way up towards the hook eye. I really love peacock curl for this. You can use some synthetic fibers and other things, but it can be hard to, to match the look that you get when using the natural peacock curl. So pretty close to the hook eye, I'm gonna leave myself just a little bit of room to bring that foam up and, and tie everything in as well as our legs. But we'll capture our peacock curl up here and clip that out. And then just like I said, go ahead and bring that foam on up. Just like so. Sometimes I'll pull it tight, but then other times I leave it just a little bit loose because it adds just a kind of a hump back to this fly. So we'll do one loose thread wrap and then we'll go over again and then pull it nice and tight straight down there. And that's just gonna fix that foam right on top of the, the hook shank there. Come in and clip off just in front of the hook eye, leaving yourself a nice little head. We'll trim that down and, and make it look nice here in a second. But we're gonna come in now and tie in the legs. So the legs of this fly, the centipede legs from MFC, I've got a barred version. You can do some different options of this as well. Some people like to use crystal flash, they'll use flash boo, uh, different, different rubber legs. I think these are a nice fit for this fly, it gives a uh, just a cool look and, and the rubber legs, I think, fish really well also. So all I'm doing is just tying them in right on the side here. We'll show you on the front side. One thing you can do 
when you're tying them in on the far sides, you can come underneath your thread and just plop it in there where you want it. Let's try that again. And then go ahead and do a wrap and kind of pull them into place there. Struggling with it, but it helps you a lot of times kind of keep them where you want them there. So a couple wraps to make sure that those are going to stay down for us and clip them off. I like to do just short the body length on these beetles, the lengths of uh, my legs there you can see. And then we're going to come in, we're going to add some white foam on top here just for a little bit of visibility to this fly when it's floating down the river, it makes it easier to see. So typically when I'm doing this, I'll use a hole punch and you can see I've done it in the past with a whole bunch a bunch of times. Forgot the hole punch today, so all I did is cut just a little square, rectangular piece of white foam out. Works just the same. Uh, really like the, the round shape on top typically, but this will work just as well. So you could glue it down if you'd like. I like to tie mine in just to make sure it's not gonna come off at any point throughout the day. Just like that black foam that we did, we're gonna tie it right on top and pull it down and cinch it in there. Sure those legs don't roll down on me too far there pull them up and then we can come in on this and we're going to do a whip finish right over the top of it just like so we can come underneath our body here and i'm going to add a little bit of zappa gap to those thread wraps just to keep it all together long term and then the final thing I do to this fly is I just trim my head up a little bit. You can see over the hook eye there, you got quite a bit of foam head. Might make it hard to get in and, and thread the hook eye. So I'll come in and I just trim them right at an angle first on one side. So I clipped off one side. I'll try and show you here on the other side. i clip on my legs. Just clip off a little piece there. And then I'll trim down the front, the head just slightly kind of shape a little bit of a head for your beetle. But that is all we need to do to get a completed foam beetle. Again, a very effective fly. If you're in a high mountain area, uh, this will work as an imitation for beetles. It'll work as an imitation for large black ants and other things. And the fish just love it. Thanks for watching. Be sure to give us a thumbs up and share this video with your friends. If you have a fly you'd like to see us tie in the future, leave us a comment below. For more fly fishing and outdoor related videos, subscribe to the Avid Max YouTube channel. Thanks for watching and we'll see you out there. My heart over my mind, I'm not over.